motivation. He's like, my motivation really boils down to a carrot and a stick. The carrot is the reward and the stick. And I'm laying on the couch and I'm just like, yeah, carrot and stick. Smash cut to, I got a, I'm training somebody. It's a tight shot. And I'm like, you sure you can't do that? You know, that last sprint? Positive about that? And then I, I was like, motivation is about carrots and sticks. And then I have like three bikini models uh, with like chocolates and, and rewards on this side. And then I have canines with, uh, you know, the, the teeth when they put the, uh, they put not chrome, um, galvanized steel for, to, to. Mike Andrula, he'll rock your world. Michael Andrew here. What? Get Max. Yes, you can. Listen, listen. Hands are kissing. I think that I was reading um, about a psychological experiment called the Monster Study, and this was in 1939, I believe. It was uh, one of the major colleges, and they had taken orphans and. Um, they split them into two groups. One group, they praised them about how quickly they were uh, able to learn and pronounce words. They were trying to see if they could make them stutter. And what happened was, <laughs> it's pretty obvious, I don't know why they need to study this, but the kids that they were yelling at every time they said a word, they developed a stutter. So they were happy because they were <laughs> able to, but what happened was the kids had lifelong stutters because of this experiment. So I think at some point when I was little, that probably a lot of negative reinforcement when I try to say particular words or I just can't hear myself I'm sorry I'm pronouncing people's names incorrectly say it whistling it's easy. whistling whistling see it's not like a child can say it my, my son can say it He's three I think and it's half. I think it might have been from your home state so you're from Indiana that's true okay you were in Johnny Sacco that's true and I knew about Johnny Sacco before I even knew you or anything else because I, I I'm sorry I like Full Trucker Effect. Uh, no, I love I like the <laughs> music. It's ska. It's Full Trucker Effect is great. Uh, Bitch Stole My Hat. Fantastic song. Classic, I would say. I thought the Beatles wrote it, but then apparently. It's a song that will never die. <laughs> uh, what other. Talk, talk to us, Dylan, because you're such a, a really great person, but you're in a band. Did you guys just do so many bad things that you're like, right, I better be Those like, two are incompatible. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> but in, a, in an era where bands were just, just smashing hotel rooms and just uh, doing all types of heinous things, Johnny Sacco, at least you're part of it. What Can you, can you bring us back? Because I, I know you, you think it's boring, but it's pretty interesting to me because I was listening to it way before you know, it became mainstream, I think. Well, I was always the grown-up in the band, sort of. Okay. Somebody had to be. But uh, there was a long uh, long stint in the band where a big part of the show every single night was uh, the lead singer would eat vomit. That lasted for mo close to a year. This is called commitment, that happened, guys. That happened okay, you, do you night. want to be in a band or not? Because if you can't eat vomit, right. that's going to get Every me. night on cue. Wow, this guy, and what was his name? Can we give him credit? No. No, okay. No, I'm not. We won't. It's <laughs> Marilyn Manson. Names. <laughs> but let's even, before this, because this is super interesting and compelling, before even this happened, and you can't see the picture here, but we'll cut away to it. Music has been in your, your family as far back as even, was it before your, your grandfather? Do you know what My great-grandfather was a, he was a drummer and songwriter. So your great-grandfather was a drummer and songwriter in America or? In Vincennes, Indiana. Way back Senza. in the day, back when, back when that town had more to offer than Crystal Meth. Oh right, and what was his name? Uh, Clarence Stout. Clarence Stout, that sounds like um, a black man. No, but he worked with a lot of black artists back in the day. No, Clarence Stout sounds like a jazz guy that maybe shares that name. I'm just throwing that out there. Is there a Clarence Stout from jazz? 
Well, we'll I'm find sure out there if is. we had well, Google. I'm well, going to assume yes. my Check facts are correct. I'm, I'm going to assume they are too. So your your great grandfather, and who knows, even before then, do you believe that it was somebody? Oh yeah, just music is in the DNA. We like to hit things and make make a lot of noise. And procru- pro pro crush, percussion, 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 percussion. Percussion. We like percussion too. Yeah. Percussion. How do you say it? Percussion. Percussion. Am I saying it correctly? Sure. Okay. Good. Anyway, we'll cut that out. Film. So maybe not. <laughs> so you go back. It's it's in the blood. Keep it real, Mike. Your grandfather was also. Uh, no, no. It skipped two generations. Skipped two generations. Yep. Okay. But your grandfather owned the printing press. Uh yeah. Owned a, yeah. They were printers and uh, or sold high end printing equipment. My parents became printers. And he also ran an ice factory, or not an ice factory, I know ice storage, Yeah, <laughs> which is pretty pretty cool. So that they were, you don't think that's cool? Oh, it was crazy cool, but it was, it's a uh, an industry that doesn't exist, where they would cut chunks of ice out of the river and store it in a, in a huge warehouse for the like summer. I like that idea. <laughs> you know, great, uh, great idea until refrigerators come in. Yeah, well, you got you to gotta get a lobby going, Dylan. What, are you, what was he thinking? <laughs> Should have been saying, listen, these refrigerators will, will radiate your food and right. kill, kill people, then... Ice would have been still around. More quaint. <laughs> then that brings you to your 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 father, who's a journalist, mm-hmm. and we have to get him on. All right, um, next time he's up. He's been to Afghanistan. He's been all over. Uh, your mother, she. Uh, she's retired. She was in uh, non not for profit for a long time. Non for profit. So you you basically have a rich cultural True. background. I I um compared to people that were like laborers and probably brick masons in my family line <laughs> so i'm saying a lot of uh culture you get into drumming one uh i was banging on pots and pans when i was an so infant basically max's age yeah even absolutely. before that absolutely and then you just are doing it continuously you, then you say i'm going to get into a band is that how it works yeah i did uh did school band and uh lived in, in the middle of nowhere in southern indiana in a had to practice in a barn with no uh, no electricity, lots of wasps. I had to a dodge barn. wasps around your head to try to practice drums. That's a good place to learn drums, though. Really? You know, it, it got me somewhere. Because if you put it in the Hoboken apartment, <laughs> gonna, Max is going to... I've heard my neighbor do it sometimes, and it's very obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your neighbor? Yeah, do you remember the guy across the courtyard? There was a guy who had a set of drums. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget about that. Yeah, that was obnoxious. Don't be that guy. It wasn't tight. It wasn't tight. No, it wasn't. Um, then that brings you to when do you meet Dana, your wife? Uh, we met in college. We, college. we uh, dated in. Uh, we were both in the, the uh, Indiana University School of Music. And she's an incredible musician as well. She gave music up after college, which breaks my heart. But that that's uh, that's what a uh, an academic music education does to you. I think <laughs> if you love music and you go into academics, you might not love it so much at the end. Wow. Well, she still sings though to Max and stuff. No? Yeah, yeah. She started Wish singing to Max. Had. We need the theme song. Boom! You, you're, you're at this point. You're you're laying down tracks for multiple artists: Drake, Alicia Keys, uh, Jay Z, Kanye West. Fantastic. Does it feel satisfying? Was what was the best point for at least your drumming career? Is it now? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. This, it's, this is more fun. It's it's really cool. It's uh, it's nice to be able to come to work. You know, drop my son off at school, work. Record during the day, go home at night. I was on the road for a million years, and uh, that was fun when I was younger. Forget that. Yeah, but when, what about when you go to like Europe? Oh, here and there. It's you know I, I pay other prices going to Europe now at this point. So, but it's more it's, fun it's, though. Oh, it's fun, but you know I miss my family. The Europeans embrace the music more. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, it's such a it's such a better scene touring as an artist in uh, in Europe than it is in the states. In the states, you're the hired help and you not wanted in Europe. They treat you like you know an artist. It's cool. I like those Europeans. Oh, it's, I mean, we were mentioning this before on uh, of just watching Anthony Bourdain's show, and that watching that show gets me so inspired. And just being in Spain, and, and, and it's all about the wine and how everything, the Sicily special, everything on the table is made right in their farm. You don't need that much. Each dish has two or three ingredients, and they're putting so many man hours into it there's no way they have another job oh yeah there's no other skill set so the the priorities are fantastic oh I, I we would go to italy and, and do sound check and then they'd say okay now it's time for dinner and they would 
right in front of the stage, put out a table, put out a tablecloth, you know, set the table. Somebody's mom had been cooking all day. The, the whole, all the bands, all the crew would all sit down for a two hour meal before the show started. It was the greatest thing in the, in, in the universe. In, in America, you know, you're lucky if you could get half price Burger off the, the burger and fries from the bar. And otherwise, fuck you. <laughs> so. And I, man, well, what are you gonna do? I can't, I complain about it. I see the good and the bad. I can't go to Walmart there and buy anything. And so in Costa Rica, I love Costa Rica, but they don't have the uh, particular food culture that the Europeans have created, mm -hmm. especially in some of the mixed, like Italy and Spain in particular, seem to have a, a you know, yeah, just they, a little bit higher level. No offense to f uh, France, but. And you France, get, they've, they figured it out. In they France did. Too. They don't have house wine, Dylan. You're, uh, maybe it's just Paris. Yeah, they do. And, and well, and not. They didn't give me. Basically, in Italy, they were insisting I drink wine for nothing, a dollar. Right. You could in Venice, one of the most expensive cities there. If you took uh, your 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 mu muscle milk protein powder container to the wine shop, they fill <laughs> it up with their wine for a dollar. <laughs> uh, but a, a Coca Cola costs five dollars. So uh, I, they have their priorities in order. Yeah. I think that's what's going on. So, but we went to Paris. They didn't have that. They had amazing food in Paris. I, I Christy says no, but it was good. Fondue? Are you kidding me? Just a giant pot, pot of cheese boiling <laughs> for me? <laughs> that was incredible. Fantastic. About the reboot camps, we were planning on uh, maybe doing, you know, a reboot camp local. Where in Hoboken? No, that's not a reboot camp. You said local. Well, local. Local, not uh, another continent in uh, in America. Oh, where in it? Where? I don't know. There's lots of places. Anywhere you want to go. Uh, you've been all over the country. What? What? Tell, talk to us about the country. North Dakota is the strangest place I've been yet. Really? Why is that? Uh, it's parts of it are, are gorgeous and beautiful in this really weird, desolate kind of way, and the parts of it look like Mordor for all this uh, all this natural gas. It's crazy. Wait, what language? Mordor. You know, from uh, Lord of the Rings. Which one's Mordor? That's the, where the, the that's where the bad guy lives. That's where the little guys are making stuff and. Well, no, no, Mordor is where the Sauron, the the evil eye guy. Oh, okay. You know, so that's it, what it looks like in North Dakota. Yeah, it's crazy. All this natural gas where they just there's nothing but open space, so they just put up these massive, massive factories, uh, that are constantly shooting fire out every <laughs> orifice. It's, a strange, that's, it's weird. That's smart. It's good. It's good to city plan. Uh, that's also you know. Well, I guess you should just hide that. Newark, New Jersey. What are we doing? The Turnpike <laughs> could be something beautiful. It is literally, it would be like if I'm going to sell you my house, but I'm going to show you like <laughs> the worst part. I'm going to take you through a corridor of problems, fire pits, oil tanks. <laughs> See, I kind of like it. I'm from Indiana. We have nothing but farms and fields there. But Yeah, but I'm saying Newark in particular, we should, the Turnpike's. I don't know. It's, kinda, it's an interesting shot. I don't know. No, I'm this is great, though. This I is think great. Maybe, it's, I, I think it's interesting. Yeah, maybe Mad Max would be interesting, too. But, I mean, do you really want to have that dude with the ponytail and the, the guy sitting on the back with the... That's true. That's true. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. But maybe I'm wrong. Christie's cousin, Billy, moved right there. Where? Right in between the two oil things that says Hess and, <laughs> like, Sunoco. He's a, an en a chemical engineer. And he moved there on purpose? Uh, yeah, he likes it. He works at Merck, and it's a quick... He lives. They built a uh, condo. I'm like, where are you living? What? <laughs> I didn't know they had houses. They, there's Hess owns the one oil deposit. Another company owns the other. Right. His is in the middle. It, it's on. It does have a water line, literally, because there's just tankers. Right. Going, but he likes it. Is it a house? He's very about efficiency, Billy. Yeah. Uh, no, it's a uh, what are those called? The condo. Town, town, townhouse. townhouse. Billy, we miss you. Powerlifting is into that. He's a maniac. He went to Bucknell. He would go to powerlifting competitions in prison. That's where they hold him. <laughs> I'm like, you really think you're gonna beat a prisoner in a powerlifting competition? Are you out of your mind? How do you do? I don't know, but I would imagine you didn't do too well. Are you kidding me? Yeah. If you if I ever went to prison, I would just I would say, okay, I'm I'm becoming a bodybuilder right now and working out from eight a.m. to yeah. eight p.m. Maybe do a little bit of. Arts read, and crafts. Study. I'll read. Your like, mind. Yeah, I'll be like Malcolm X. I'll have to start over from the get go. There you go. I love Malcolm X, by the way. The I do too. Fantastic. It is autobiography. 
Very impressive. Uh, really? Yeah. I like. Um, Everyone should. I like his interviews right before he actually got killed. And he's like, listen, they're going to kill me. <laughs> because he came back from, you obviously yeah. know. It's like, there's no way they're going to allow this. Uh, I don't want to even say that because we're probably going to get attacked now. Anyway, Dylan, yes. talk to us about 2014, the end of it. Uh, what, are we, what are we doing here? What are you doing here? I'm shooting a shit ton of videos. And I love this idea. So you are putting together, I love online. Mm -hmm. I learn so much. Mm -hmm. uh, everything I ever wanted to know is, is at my fingertips. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Why even learn anything? Because I'll just learn it when I need it. <laughs> so if I want to learn uh, music, I used to have to take a train to, well, for the pre to Milburn, New Jersey, to learn guitar. Right. So it would be 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back. It really was inconvenient. Maybe I would have been progressing much faster had I had the internet. But no one in Hoboken went to the city? Uh, I don't like the city. It's not for me. It's interesting. It's too many people. I, like, I find that interesting that there's this huge dividing line called the river yeah. that from, from old school Hoboken people. Yeah, I like, call the city people bridge and tunnelers. They call us bridge and tunnelers. <laughs> <laughs> like, you guys are bridge and tunnelers coming over here, standing on the cake boss line. What's wrong with you? My friend used to teach uh, in Secaucus. He said there were kids that would who their parents had never been in New York City and they grew up in Secaucus their whole life. I just, that's fascinating. It's good, Dylan. I feel like there's too much pressure. To, it, it, you go to New York, you have to be mentally, like when we would go with my father, it was a time where New York City was, he's walking with four kids in the street, somebody's offering him mushrooms. Right. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> oh, the good old days. That's, that was happening all the time. You know, watch out. There's going to be scam artists. People are going to... So when I go there, I have uh, increased... And um, I'm always very vigilant. Right. So if I'm in a room, I'm looking around, seeing what's going on. It, it helps me in ways. It doesn't help me. New York City, it's just like I'm I'm basically a, like the NSA. I'm just looking at everybody, trying to figure out who I need to karate chop. Or is this the day where I have to, like, tackle somebody so they don't hit the plunger? <laughs> That's a higher pressure situation. I get it. Stay. Milburn, New Jersey. It was more about I wanted to learn fast, so I wanted to learn guitar tap. Mm -hmm. The instructors at Hoboken refused to do that. The guitar bar. Okay. And I knew that it was going to take me so long to learn the music notes because I didn't even know what the hell it was. So, guitar tab I can learn tomorrow. Right. So I went to Milburn. All right. It was good. I learned a lot of stuff. It's I practiced. Huh? He was like practice six hours a day. Wrote it in my book. I didn't practice six, but I got extremely good by doing four or five, like pushing it. This guy was like, you got all day long practice. Can't practice four minutes a day. What? I never practice, I hate practicing. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't say <laughs> so that to boring. the kids. I'm sorry, you kids, practice. practice. <laughs> You're selling online all right, I guess you have to practice sometimes, but. What do you mean? So I just you... want to play music. Practicing is boring. Whoa, this is amazing. So if you were, are you implementing that into like, so scales. For yeah. guitars, they're good. Do the scales? I hate. I, it's not that I hated doing. It was just like I would rather play a song and learn that way. Right. So, is it all styles? Is it is it the art of learning that is individualized? Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm I'm my videos are much more. Here's a song, and we're, you're gonna learn some stuff by learning this song, as opposed I like to that. That's how my style is, and I think a lot of musicians probably have, they like to jump in and get into it. No? Right. So, yeah. I mean, and maybe mine's a reaction to having gone to a, an a academic music school where I almost hated music. I love that. That's why I did uh, I love music that. school I, dropout. I like to take down. I'm such an anarchist, Dylan. I want all those places taken down <laughs> for some reason. But as soon as you take it down, then this philosophy will build up. It might yeah, be just it, true. Um, I think a guy's name is Josh Wozniak. You guys ever hear of this? Mm -mm. Kristen? Who, it was, he was based on Bobby uh, searching for the next Bobby Fisher. Uh, right. They did the book, then the movie. His father wrote the book. So he was playing chess when he was little. Then he did Tai Chi, which he talks about, which is uh, not. Uh, now he does uh, um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with the top Marcelo Garcia, who's in New York. He's the best. He's a little guy. He beats everybody. Um, he broadcasts it all online. If you're going to fight him, he puts his training, he videotapes his entire training session, he puts it on every day for you to watch <laughs> and his philosophy is if you're watching my videos 
and learning my game, then you're entering my system and I'll always beat you at my system. Uh, he's, he was one of the most open and uh, I think it's, it's probably not Wozniak, so I'm gonna call him Josh. From the, He wrote a book called The Art of Learning, which is basically how different people learn and how to um, create an environment for th them to learn. And there's, he's got a very different brain than say like somebody else I follow, Tim Ferriss. Mm -hmm. Tim Ferriss is, here's five points do this in scientific method and, and like broken out charts. And um, Josh is the polar opposite. His brain doesn't think like that. He would try to create chaos on a chessboard because then his opponents would be confused. There's no order to his movements. And then he would try to find particular harmonies that were working where nobody, f and in my kickboxing class, I tried to do that, complete chaos and then try to find your rhythm, be comfortable in chaos. So it, it maybe it's learning styles, but, or maybe it's. Yeah. I mean, yeah, everyone's different. You gotta find what works for you. I don't like the scientific thing, which is why I don't like to practice. That's what I'm playing. Different music. folks, different strokes. Right. My friend Billy there you go. Say. That's. I don't know if he came up with Well, that. the man's like got a point. Though. Yeah, it's like, that's why we need different people. Right. But a lot of, uh, a lot of different topics that we get into on this before I know we're detracting from drums, but this is one big tangent. <laughs> when we get into nutrition, you know, when the scientific linear brains get in power, there's no changing their minds. Right. So they, they won't look at it from a radical standpoint. But if you're really scientific, then you have to test the assumptions and you have to be able to prove it. As long as scotch is on the list, I'm okay with, with whatever science what you all got. that stuff is. I mean, yes, yeah, scotch, yeah. the science of scotch. So, what is the science behind drums? You, I, you have all this, these things in here, and I want to ask you about them, like these art, like artifacts. I mean, is that from the Roman Empire? There's a <laughs> CD player in here. <laughs> There's a cassette deck. There's yeah. a tube tester. Yeah, I like old crap. Old crap. I don't know. I, I wanted to be a graphic designer when I was a kid. Really? Uh, I love love graphic design. That's that's uh, when, that was actually my first love, but I'm colorblind, so that's, a, that's kind of a handicap you for. Uh, white stuff. You can do cartoons. So. Yeah, I, but still, it's, uh, so I'm sort of helpless there. So I ended up with uh, ended up banging on things and making noise, and it's worked out pretty well. I like the stuff. Now you got a, an absolute wonderful son. He looks like he's taken on in your footsteps. Yeah, I, I, that's my biggest. Biggest fear, and I think it's coming true. <laughs> Daddy, I, I want to be a drummer. I think if you get him going, where he can make a lot of bank early on, like um, I, the kid from The Sixth Sense. Remember that movie? Does anybody yeah. know his name? No. Yeah. Now he's reemerged, um, <clears throat> and he didn't lose his mind. He didn't go on benders. Yeah. See, I, my biggest fear is he's going to be like Justin Bieber, or whoever that, that yeah. idiot is. <laughs> I mean, that's why, like, stay in accounting, son. That's no, no, that's no. Safe. But hey, Justin Bieber, come on. That's good, Dylan. Please. How much cash money that? Of course he's 19. Yeah, but he's a star craven idiot. Who's his girlfriend? Selena Gomez? Come on. I don't know. Come Someone on. Who You're going to deprive that of Max? Yes. You're going to deprive <laughs> the future Selena yes. Gomez? He's going to be a tax attorney. Now, you're saying this on... Yes. All right, Max. Live so on When you're watching television. this on, like, your Google retina <laughs> that, that you're going to get... <laughs> I'm sorry. You're an accountant. Your father <laughs> made this decision. I, I tried to influence you. You could have had whoever else is uh, maybe the third generation of Paris Hilton as his wife, Kim Kardashian, in the future. But um, what I'm saying, what were we just talking about? I have no idea. I have no idea either. Max. Max, he wants to be a conductor. I'm afraid, though, we're not going to have trains yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, I think he's right. I'd... He's not going to like trains. Well, yeah, and I don't think there will be conductors on trains. I think they'll be automated by then. So he's going to have to find, invent a new train system. What about this politician? He's mm, still going to get the sure. rock star because Max. But they don't be corrupt like all Jersey politicians, aren't they? I don't know, maybe he could change the system, though. Maybe he could. He Are could they corrupt or is the whole. Well, I don't think New Jersey particularly corrupt. It's as corrupt as everywhere. And. There's no incentive. I think it's slightly more corrupt. Maybe, than maybe slightly places. more corrupt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. This, uh, you know, speaking as an outsider. Where, I mean, what other... There's some states where the culture is different, where they're trying to, but they're much smaller, where True. it's more in control. As soon as you put big numbers of people together, it's... Right. 
and big piles Washington, of money. big piles of money. The, there's no incentive for the politicians not to take the money. Mm -hmm. You can't get reelected if you don't take the money. True. Um, they repeal um, campaign finance. Right. So now I can donate to as unlimited campaigns across the country. That means I can control larger sections. Right. Uh, even that's it. When Barack Obama becomes president, he still needs the Democrats to back him. So if I go ahead and buy up all the Democrats on that side and then he goes against me, I can shut him down pretty easily. And, and if I was a, you know, that's what business people do. Right. Yeah, I got to figure out how to do that in the drum industry. You need how can to. I, how can I corrupt the entire drum track industry? The whole drum track industry. I, I don't know about that, though. You need to. You we wouldn't take that much we, money. No, we need a ton of money. Not like politics. No, you do because you need them to put a law out that makes sure that you need to get a certification from your. Right. If your tracks, yeah. If you from are, this. If, right. You have to. You have the triple, triple colossal seal of approval, which is expensive yeah. and rare unless you. And then that's what. That's how you do it. I like it. You know. I'm pretty off from Jersey, actually. Yeah. See. Well. Uh, if, yeah, I don't. Hopefully, that's bad. That's not good. <laughs> well, Indiana is a I was saying place. Max, because he will re he remembers first everybody's name. He's highly intelligent, and he could probably just based on understanding uh, people's names. That's such a powerful tool in politics. Yeah, and then he could just make He's whatever. He's the best personal it. assistant I ever had. I'm terrible with names, <laughs> but he knows everything. He and he and he knows his colors, so he can tell me what color things are. You so. know how amazing it is that he understands and uh, the dinosaurs' names. Uh, he's way too young to even be able to pronounce these a multiple syllable. I don't know. I think three and a half year olds are. They'd surprise you. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. So it's he's been wonderful long. having a son. Yes, it's been great. It's been great. I uh, I have no complaints. Cool. And the the library. When are we projecting it to be done? Where I can take online classes for drums. Uh, the second project in September. September. We'll see. There's a lot that needs to happen between now and then. Okay, but it'll be cool. I like. I think the idea is fantastic. I love coming in here. I love the energy. So, cool. Pushing. Thanks for coming. Even. Keep the podcast coming. The yep. people need it. Do you have anything? Uh, maybe a short. Anything you want to say for indie studio drummers or people that like say. 50 Cent needs something, or yeah, 50 Cent needs something. Drake, call me. You know, I'm I'm in the phone book. Neo, Neo pages. No, no. Neo oh, I'm sorry. On the website, web pages. Well, I'm saying no. If you're Alicia Keys and you're watching this, or you're Drake, well, I'm sure they are. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they've, they've made it. They, they got nothing else you to do. You guys don't see the platinum hanging up, but I'm saying if you you guys want to get some stuff going, we could collaborate. Yeah, call us. I, you know, Mike and I, we we work as a team together. We'll, we'll do all your drum tracks, all, all your music needs. We get we got you covered. All right. Bye for now, guys. Keep on uh, supporting it. Like it, share it, uh, or, or don't. I don't. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Comment. Don't comment. We'll probably oh, close please. that comment. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna answer it back. Yeah. Or delete it. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're building it up. We're building up the family. So the early, we should the early adopters, the first 100, 200 people, we should really give them something. Yeah, like a like a canvas tote bag or something. Yeah, like a, a swag bag full of yeah. non. Crap. Yeah, <laughs> crap from Ikea. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so if you sign up, you leave your email, we'll send you a bag full of crap from Ikea. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ikea, actually, they have some really good... Uh, this whole studio is, is Ikea, have you noticed? <laughs> is it? Well, <laughs> part of it. Their outdoor furniture is tight. Really? It's ridiculous. The Billy Bookshelf system, hello? Have you... <laughs> <laughs> Who does that? The sweet, the sweet Swedish. Thanks, so. us. Yeah. Keep it up, guys. We're we're enjoying it back here. Yeah. All right. Peace out, Dylan. We'll get you out, Kristen. Top on in. Thank you very Thanks. much, Dylan.